different colored jerseys at a football practice have various meanings. At UC, white means offense, black is defense, yellow means little or no contact, and the red jersey? Well, that has a meaning all to its own. Our leaders will wear red in practice every day. You'll have your own color. You'll be in bright red so everybody knows who you are. And we're glad to call him one of our leaders of the 2015 Cincinnati Bearcat football team. And your leader, they'll be in red every day. And I promise you, he's going to help you become champions. He is number. So, so. Yeah. Damn, I ain't very big. 92! Yeah. Offensive captain. That's going to help us get better. That's going to be a big part of this team. It has been a big part of this team. Big Parker, come on up. Yeah. Next captain goes to, voted on by all of you guys. Gunner Keel. Yeah. Next one goes to 28 year old Adrian Whitty. Oh, that is, you no, know, you know, that's a big honor. You know, you kind of see how important you mean, how important you are to this team, what your teammates think of you, and what kind of standard you have to uphold just because you have the red jersey now, you're noticeable. Not just that everybody looking up to you, so it's, it's, a, it's a huge honor, man. The opportunity to come out and represent Cincinnati in a positive way is great. I mean, uh, as a captain, I mean, you dream about these these opportunities. So, uh, truly blessed that the uh, that the guys on the team voted for me, and uh, I'm going to do my job as a captain to get the job done. It really is. I mean, being voted a captain is truly an honor, and it's a, you know, it's it's something you know I've waited uh, four years to uh, step into the role of being a being a captain. You know, I've you know, I've, uh, I've waited my time and uh, done all. You know, putting my time, you know, sitting behind all the all the older guys, and it's good to you know be be uh, have the confidence from my teammates to be a captain. No, I mean, I was hoping that I was going to be a captain. Guy. I mean, I rather the team follow behind my lead, and you know, I've always been a leader. And I mean, I want to put that to an effect. You know, they're going to see me, and they see, okay, Weedy doing this, Weedy doing that. I mean, I want to be like that. I want the team to follow me, and let alone this Gunner, and you got Parker, you got um, Silverberry, you know, all guys that's willing to do that. For as long as he's been in coaching, Coach Tuberville has had different captains for each game throughout the season, but this year he's going with a different approach. Well, we've got a lot of experience, but we've also got a lot of young guys, and I felt like this year we needed to know who our leaders were going to be early, and a leader is nothing but somebody that influences other people. We need to influence a lot of the inexperienced players we have, a lot of the true freshmen, redshirt freshmen guys that uh, did not play last year, sat on the bench, watched. The players voted on who they chose, and the coaches weren't surprised at all who they picked. I wasn't shocked at all. I know, I know the way these guys they pick, the way they carry themselves, the way they, the way they, uh, you know, present themselves to the, to everything around them. You know, they, 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 are, they are good people first of all, and these guys care about their teammates. So I was not, I was not surprised by them picking those young men. The kids did a good job of picking those guys, and I think those guys were leaders. But on the other hand, what we have to do is we got to establish, I mean, those are the four captains. Those are the guys been uh, elected as captains. But there was a lot of players that uh, that had a lot of votes as well. And those guys, we got to keep developing those the leadership uh, qualities out of the younger guys as well to keep this thing rolling in the future.